Ian Stelter, RNC Communications Director Kirsten Kukowski, and DNC Communications Director and former senior spokesman for the Hillary Clinton 2008 presidential campaign, Mo Alethi. Welcome to all of you. Before we begin, I want to replay the Hillary Clinton bite on Benghazi because Diane Sawyer asked her if she would have done anything differently to save lives. This is what she said. I wonder if people are looking for a sentence that begins from you. I should have. I should have. I saw your face on that tarmac. Something that said, I should have done this differently. I would give anything on the earth to personally if I had, could have done this differently. Well, I certainly would give anything on earth if this had not happened. And I certainly would um, wish that we had made some of the changes that came to our attention to make as a result of the investigation. Um, but I also am uh, clear in my own mind that we had a system, and that system, of course, ended with me. Yeah, but I, I take responsibility, but I was not making security decisions. I think it would be a mistake. For a Secretary of State to sit and say, okay, let's go through all 270 posts and let me decide what should be done. That, is, that to me is inappropriate where the experience and the expertise lies elsewhere. All right, so the first question goes to you, Kirsten. Did Hillary Clinton allay um, any of the concerns that Republicans have with what went down in Benghazi? I don't believe so. I mean, I think that was a very pointed question that I don't really think she answered it um, to the American public's liking. I think the polling that's come out recently shows that there are a lot of questions Americans still have. They believe there should be more hearings. They don't believe that the Democrats, including Hillary Clinton and President Obama, have answered all of the questions. Um, and I think that, you know, that's going to continue to be a problem for Hillary. So I think that, it, that overall, the, thing, the things that we have learned from this book launch are some real questions for Hillary. And obviously, this is a trial balloon for 2016. And I think that it puts the Democratic Party in a very difficult position. Um, and I actually kind of have a question for Mo that I wanted to ask right off the bat here, because I think what, you know, from my perspective, I, I can name 10 Democrat or Republican candidates, I'm sorry, um, who in the White House in two years. And I think that what we've learned over the last couple of days with Hillary Clinton is they're all in on Hillary. And I would wonder if, if Mo could, a, could actually name a couple other Democrat candidates who could win the presidency in two years. Mo, you want to take that on? Well, uh, look, I, I, I like the Democratic bench a whole lot more than uh, the Republican bench. And there are a number of potential candidates who I feel very confident um, we put them up head to head against any of um, the Repu potential Republican candidates and will win. But I think the very nature of Kirsten's question, um, while I get what she's trying to do, um, really proves our point, which is that whenever there's a conversation about Benghazi, whenever there's a question about foreign policy, their initial instinct is to politicize it. And that's what they're trying to do here. Well, well, that's I why will, I will we're, we're say up to Mo, now 13. I will say, Mo, we're that, that Clinton's Benghazi answer, um, it didn't seem to resonate to me. I mean, is it really enough to say I'm not in charge of blupl blueprints for security? Well, here's what I think. I think that what uh, the Obama administration and, and then Secretary Clinton did in the wake of the tragedy, while the Republicans um, politicized it within moments afterwards, um, their first instinct was to deal with the situation at hand, and then what do we need to do to prevent it from happening again? And they put forward an independent investigation, the Accountability Review Board, which put forward uh, 29 specific recommendations, and they've taken steps to implement those recommendations to make sure it doesn't happen again. That's what I think the American people want, rather than a lot of the bluster we're seeing from Republicans on the Hill and in Kirsten's headquarters, um, calling for yet another, another hearing when, in the past, briefings uh, had been by Republicans who went on TV to complain that they weren't getting enough information. This was never for them. This is simply a a, an elaborate and crass get out the vote mechanism for Republicans heading into a midterm election to fire up their base. And it's sad. It's sad because it really dishonors uh, what happened there. Kirsten, um, uh, well, let, let me ask Kirsten a question before you go on. I, I, is, it, 
is it somewhat fair to say that Benghazi has become so politicized that those who like ardently support Hillary Clinton won't really listen to Republican concerns? Look, I believe from the very beginning on this Benghazi issue, the Democrats have been changing their story. We continue to find more information out. Um, every, you know, every time we look, the White House was forced to put out emails that showed, um, you know, that the, the, the talking points were very political in nature from the very beginning, from the very, um, you know, first round of Sunday show interviews that we did, that you know, that were done on this subject. And I think that is why the American people do not believe that we have all of the answers, and why they actually believe that there needs to be more hearings. So while I understand, understand why Mo would like to point fingers at the RNC and at Republicans about this on this issue, um, the fact of the matter is Republic, or, R Americans really do believe there are still questions that need to be answered, and Hillary was front and center in this. And you can tell by the answer and, and the question she received that she's not comfortable answering this question. All right, I'm going to have Here's to leave it there. Go. I'm going to have to leave it there. Thanks, to, uh, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Brian Stelter, Kirsten Kukowski. Um, and Mo Alethi of the DNC. Thanks so much. This morning on Capitol Hill, more 